When people talk about Southwest Missouri, they always talk about Branson and they talk about the lights, but all you have to do is get off the main roads away from the touristy stuff and you will see the plight that our citizens are in. Because we're a tourism-based economy, most of parents are working in service type jobs. So many parents are unemployed three months out of the year. Those people are not making a living wage to raise a family. We have about 70% of our kids on free and reduced lunch. Last year we had 239 homeless students, 15% of our student population. We have approximately 35 to 40% transient populations. Mom and dad don't have the rent to pay so they move someplace else. We have a wonderful community. We have great parents. We have great kids. We have unfortunately families that need help. National Enzyme Company started Gift of Hope over 20 years ago to help families and children in need here in Taney County. Many of the employees of NEC have an automatic withdrawal taken out of their paychecks as a donation to Gift of Hope and then whatever that amount is I match that. Gift of Hope coordinates the scholarship program, the backpack club program, Christmas share, school days, and the sense of pride program. What we have done at Gift of Hope is to look at the needs that are not being taken care of by other organizations. As the needs have grown, so has Gift of Hope. Gift of Hope provides assistance to families in need throughout the winter months through our Christmas Share program. Last year we adopted uh, around 30 families and the mission is to get them through the winter, not just to put some gifts underneath the tree, so we make sure that they have heating supplies, that they have blankets and clothes. We spend about $25,000 every winter. We go shopping and I actually had a woman cry at the checkout counter. She was crying because this was the first brand new winter coat she has ever had in her entire life. This is the biggest gift that their family has received in a long time. Gift of Hope's School Days program is where we provide children with a new pair of gym shoes at the start of the school year. I've had students come in wearing their parents' shoes and just, you know, practically dragging their feet to keep them on, or they'd be in flip-flops in winter. They, like, just light up. And they're like, do I bring these back? I said, no, you get to keep those, you know. It's a completely different child. It's the difference in a child that's ready to learn and one that is so concerned about so many other necessities that they don't have the ability to learn. Gift of Hope's Backpack Club provides food to hungry children every single weekend during the school year by sending food home in their backpacks. We have so many hungry children in this area. We have kids that some teachers have referred to them as plate lickers because when they come in on Monday morning and eat school breakfast, they are licking their plates because they are so hungry. The children have no control over this. They can't control that the groceries have been purchased, that the meals have been prepared. We can provide free lunch and free breakfast for kids who qualify for it, but what we cannot do is feed kids from two o'clock on Friday until eight o'clock Monday morning. When they come to school hungry, they're not ready to learn because all they're thinking about is where they're gonna get their next meal. Gift of Hope provides the backpacks that literally gives our students a chance. I get snack back because my families don't have a lot of food. When I open my snack pack, there is apple juice or orange juice or a little milk thing and raisins, graham crackers, and two packs of cereal. Before I had the snack pack, my family got like a little hungry. The Backpack Club program is in nine Taney County schools. Every month, on average, we spend $14,000 on food. And by purchasing in bulk, we get an incredible discount, much less tax exempt. So we're able to feed and help a lot more children on our budget. It makes our job much easier because they're motivated and they're ready to listen. You can certainly see a difference uh, in, in the amount of energy, uh, in the, the attitude, uh, in their just total demeanor. We do have some good news from the state in that they have approved our backpack club for the neighborhood assistance program, which means qualified donors 
will receive up to a 50% tax credit for all that they donate. It has been established that there are about 1,500 children here in Taney County in need of food. At this time, we can only afford to feed 900. The little kids are really cute, but we've got middle school kids who are hungry, we've got high school kids who are hungry, so it would be a huge blessing if we made it available to more kids. When I get my snack pack, I feel it's like it like makes me feel full. Sense of Pride is Gift of Hope's newest program. It's a store that's set up in Forsyth School. The Sense of Pride store was brought to us as an idea to expand the backpack program into the older grades. What we've noticed over the years, that the older students are not taking home the backpacks of food. They're embarrassed, they don't want a charitable handout. One of the big successes of this program is that the students earn their money. They get to shop with Pride Bucks that they have earned showing good behavior, turning their work in on time, and for attendance. Like in middle school, you can't really get a job, so it makes it kind of feel like you're being independent. They feel proud that they're able to buy the necessities without putting that expense on their parents. My family does think it's cool to get all my stuff that I need without them having to buy the stuff for me. My mom usually doesn't let me get a lot of snacks <laughs> because we don't have a lot of extra money to go buy whatever I want. So I think it's good for whenever I turn in assignments and do my work, I can get myself something. I've bought shampoo before just to because so it takes off the pressure of my mom because shampoo's expensive. <laughs> We had a whole bunch of blankets and pillows and those things flew off the shelves and it opened my eyes to some realities that even I didn't quite fully understand that there was this gaping need. The Sense of Pride offers a wonderful opportunity for our students to learn life skills. They have to show up and work for their tickets, which is the same thing you'd have to do with money. People actually do save up sometimes instead of just spending it all out on little things. High school is a very social place so by having personal hygiene taken care of, by having some nice personal items that you can have to call your own that you earn, that builds self-worth and that starts to project outwards and it permeates everything that you do. With our most recent program here, we hope to be able to expand to the other schools in Taney County. It feels good to earn your own because it gives you a kind of vibe that you're going to get in life. We are working so hard to change these lives of these young children. We don't want them to remain in that poverty cycle. I have seen so many stories of kids whose lives are changed because of what goes on at school, where the concept of education is being stressed and that that is their future to get out of poverty. Our district is extremely lucky to have a partner such as Gift of Hope. And these partners play a huge role in the success of our students. We are so blessed to have had Tony Collier's vision, but the needs have grown so tremendously that National Enzyme Company cannot do it on their own. The more partners and the more finances that we have, the more people we'll be able to help. When you get a first-hand look at the poverty that is out there and what these people struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis, it really tugs on your heart, but the more we can do, the few that we can help, we know that their lives are in better shape. Please consider giving to Gift of Hope.